business owners in America continue to feel the pinch as fewer cars are traveling the old State Road 25 since the new Hoosier Heartland Highway opened to drivers last fall. News 18's Krista Henry reports why business owners say even months later, it's not only the new highway that's steering drivers away from passing through Americas. Good morning. Dave Morrison has owned the Sitco gas station and convenience store in Americas for 17 years. Is that all for you? Debit or credit? He's always made most of his money from people traveling through town who would stop to fill up on gas. One dollar. How's that? Perfect. But since the new Hoosier Heartland opened last fall, Morrison says they continue to see a major decline in business because less cars are traveling the old State Road 25. We're down at 35 percent compared to what it used to be, um, which is a, you know, it's a pretty substantial number. But Morrison says it's not only the Hoosier Heartland affecting business. He says current construction on the old State Road 25 is also putting a halt on bringing in new customers. Unfortunately, we never anticipated all the construction and detours like we're having now. Um, that was never an issue back when all the meetings were being done. So it was a surprise and uh, something we hadn't anticipated. And right down the road at America's Restaurant and Bar, it's the same story. What we really miss is the new customers. We always enjoy meeting new people and having new people come in. So grilled cheese with extra cheese and fried green beans. Mm -hmm. Jackie Harris manages Dick's America's Restaurant and Bar. She says while they too have seen a major drop in business, she says she doesn't see it going back to normal anytime soon. People who are coming down to Purdue for the games, they drive by, stop in and have dinner. and. I think that's going to be a lot of the business we're going to lose this fall because they're not going to be driving by us anymore. They're going to be going down the Hoosier Heartland. But both Morrison and Harris say while they'll stay hopeful for business to pick up, they're just thankful for their loyal regulars who continue to keep their doors open. Reporting in America's Krista Henry, News 18. Thank you, guys.